good day to you. My name is Teacher Arvin, and I am very excited to bring you today's lesson. So set your mind, ready your heart, and brace yourselves, for we will take the journey to discover the week 8 of 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world. For today's lesson, we will focus on the Asian literature. Most essential learning competency in factors, writing a close analysis and critical interpretation of literary texts, applying a reading approach, and doing an adaptation of these requires from the learners the ability to identify representative texts and authors from Asia, North America, Europe, and Africa. And for our sub-objectives, students must be able to understand the nature of Asian literature and identify representative texts and authors from Asia. Before we will proceed to our discussion, let's play a guessing game. You are going to identify the capital of the place or the plug where it belongs. What is the capital of Kazakhstan? That's right. It's Astana. How about the capital of Uzbekistan? Correct, that's Tashkent. Now, how about the capital place of Turkmenistan? That's right, it's Ashgabat. Now, how about the capital of Japan? That's right, it's Tokyo. Now, how about this flag? Correct, that's China. How about this flag? That's right, it's Korea. Now, how about this flag? Correct, that's Mongolia. Now, how about this flag? You are right, that's Taiwan. Now, what are the countries under Southeast Asia? We have Burma, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, and the Philippines. This time, we will discuss Asian literature. The geographic divisions of Asia includes Central Asia, East Asia, South Asia, Southeast Asia, and Western Asia. What is Asian culture? Asian culture includes language, ideas, beliefs, customs, codes, institutions, tools, techniques, works of arts, rituals, and ceremonies, among other elements of Asia. The Asian society and its structure includes hunter-gatherer, nomadic, agrarian rural, urban. Asian society has adopted to the various climate zones across Asia. We have mountains, deserts, grasslands, and wetlands. A few of the cultural divisions of Asia are religion, literature, educational systems, cuisine, and fashion. Now, Asian culture and society is also a mixture of traditional Asian culture with modern Asian culture. Asia has a diverse amount of religions which include the following Buddhism, Hinduism, Sikhism, Confucianism, Taoism, Shintoism, Islamic religion, Christianity, Judaism, and tribal religions. Asia is home to many diverse languages. Uh, most Asian countries have more than one native language. 
600 languages are spoken in Indonesia, more than 100 languages are spoken in the Philippines, and 1,683 native languages are spoken in India. Asian literature is defined as diverse in that it showcases a selection of styles and themes, but as it progresses over time, common ideas have been identified between the texts in the various regions of the Asian continent. Perhaps the most similar trait of all Asian texts in their re is religiously and spiritually done. In Asia, Family is considered as primary. Also, there are different types of family structure. This includes extended and nuclear family structure. Now, hierarchical old family structure, which means older individuals holding higher status. While patriarchal or husband-led gender role is the one or the males are highly valued and desired carry family name. Meanwhile, females, less valued, um, subservient to males, carry out duties and chores and only bear child or children. Now, the values of Asian includes respect for elders, loyalty to people in authority, discipline, honor, and loyalty to family. Asian literature is known to be a philosophical and contemplative art pondering on major matters in life such as our origins and our death, where we come from and where we go, and how we come alive and how we die, as well as how we should live in between. Now, Asian literature greatly talks about race, injustice, power, nationalism, struggles, love, and in all things of all times, there are morals to be learned. Asian literature is defined to be a spiritual feature. The involvement of nature is really evident. The most common styles in this type of literature are poetry or verse and dramatic prose. Asian poetry is typically lyrical as it deals with the grand scheme of emotions. A subtype of lyrical poetry is the odd which we can see in some religious texts. Sometimes, Asian poetry is also usually formed in narratives or storytelling verses like epics. As for the process of Asia, or process of Asia rather, there are collections of short stories like legends, orally transmitted sayings, and dramas. Asian literature also reflects the similarities in their customs and traditions, struggles and successes, even their philosophies in life, giving the rest of the world a better understanding of Asian culture. Asian literature brings their people's lives straight from reality to the pages that even take their stories into the hearts of others worldwide where uh, they somehow find uh, common grounds of shared experiences. Now that we are done with the introduction or short introduction of Asian literature, on our next topic, we will focus on the literature of East Asia. As I made mention a while ago, we will refer to study literature of the people in China, Japan, Korea, which is part of East Asian literature.